All right, today I thought it'd be really fun to create this, this sun that's setting in the background with this crazy tree. Um, it's a little spooky, but not too spooky. We're going to have some pumpkins in the foreground and this, you know, southern house is what it looks like with the front porch. Let's see, how are we going to start it? I think what the best thing to do is to go in and we want to put in, we want to make sure that we put in a few things before we start on the sun. So what we want to do is we want to put in where is the, um, the horizon line. So we're going to put in this horizon line in the background. And then we want to put the pumpkins in because the pumpkin's going to be lighter than some of the other things that we're going to have in our picture. So I'm going to go ahead and put pumpkins in. And it's basically a round circle. And it has kind of a dip. So then we can put the stem in and maybe even a leaf, maybe even two leaves. So, and then we're going to put the stripes in. So, you know, it's a pumpkin and we want to do at least three of them. So I'm going to do another one over here like that. There you go. And stem and maybe a couple of leaves. And then we're going to do one more. And let's make this one a little different. We're going to make it tall. Make it taller. Stem. Maybe some leaves. And then we're going to put in the indentions. You know, if you look at a pumpkin, it has like indentions in it. So that's what we're going to, we're going to represent those with these curved lines. See how we did that? Because these are going to be lighter then what are we everything else now in order to make this work really good we are going to go we probably need to put some of the background in and then we can add the black on top that's what we do with painting but i think what's going to be really smart with this is since we have red here to go on and put our um this you know mansion i don't want to call it this whatever it is this house. We're going to go ahead and put the house in. So we're going to come up and over and that's going to be like the the um, front of the house. So we're going to pull it up. You get to choose how tall it's going to be. We want to put a an oval for the we're going to put an oval here, or not an oval. We're going to put a curve, and we're not going to color that in. We're going to use, we're going to color it in yellow, so it looks like the lights are on in the house. So we can come over here. Um, let's go up again, and over, and then we're going to keep going up, and create an area that the top of the roof. We did a roof. And I just touched that so we could go in and make another roof. And then we go up. And of course, I think it should be bigger. So I'm going to come on down. And we can color some of this in black. But we want to make sure we have windows in before we start coloring black. So I'm doing these squares. And then the window panes are going to be inside of the square. See how I'm doing that? And I'm going to make this a window, and that's the window pane. And we're going to color this in black. I had made that mistake, but you can color that in black. So I have another window pane down here. I'm going to make it a little larger. Whoop. <laughs> like that. We're going to color that in yellow. Well, I have another window pane over here. Maybe like that. And then I think I want a tall, almost like it's a door, but it's a window pane. It's a really big window. So we have the door, we have windows, and um, what else do we want to do? I wanted to do that front porch. So in order to do the front porch, we're going to pull a line out, 
and then we're going to pull a line down as a slant and we're going to color that in and that is the roof on our porch. So you pull it all the way down. Now a porch, you have to have something to stand on. So that's going to be something we stand on. And then most porches have a railing. So we're going to do a line. And then this is the railing on the front porch. See how that works? All right. So let's see, what else can we do? Um, eventually we're going to fill all this in. I guess we could do it now. Um, let's see. I think it should have like a, a stock maybe that comes up that's maybe a fireplace. We have a fireplace. And then something I did was I put a cat on this side. Um, I seemed like I did all the background and then I put the cat on there. So we'll put the cat on later. But I think I want another window over here. So I'm going to put another window. Lots of windows in this house. Okay. Okay. So at this time, I want to start working on the sun and then all the sunshine in the background. I mean, I guess we could go on and put in a little bit of the tree. We're not going to fill the tree in until later. So if you want to go ahead and put the tree in, we can go, we're going to start down here. It has to be wider at the bottom, wider at the bottom, and then we're going to pull it up. And we're going to have a limb that maybe goes out like that, and maybe a limb that goes out like that, and one like that. Okay, and then when you do the limbs, remember that, well, let me finish the, the trunk. So remember, it has to be wider down here, wider, and then it goes up skinnier like that because it's wider at the bottom. And then I always put in these roots, which I think are kind of fun. And it's wider, and then it gets thin, skinny, like that. And we're going to fill all that in with black. Um, then we're going to do another one. And remember, it's wider here, and then it gets really skinny. And if you want to color it in, I guess we can do that. We don't want a ton of black before we put the background in, or it'll smudge a little. And we don't want it to smudge. So I'm just putting this stuff in as a placeholder, and then we can color it in later. So remember, it's wider here and thinner at the end. So it's wider here and thinner at the end. And maybe you have, we can add more later. I'm just trying to, let's just put the base in of what we're going to do. And I ran out of room over here. I spent more, I spent more room on this. This is a bigger, if you look at the original, <laughs> this is a lot smaller than the tree. Now the tree is not as big. This, the house is bigger, <laughs> but that's okay, right? You can do it any way you want. This is called creativity. So I'm going to put another root in here. And maybe I'll do one more, maybe more than that. Uh, put another root here. And we'll do another one out there. Now, if I go too fast, remember you can stop the video. Stop the video and catch up. I'm not going to fill all this in until we do the background because all this black may smear in the background and I don't want that to happen. So, all right, let me finish some of the tree up here. I'm gonna curve out. Curve back in. Okay, 
So at this point, I want to work on the background. We kind of have the drawing on here. And let's work with the yellow first. Now, something that I always, 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 always do is I always have a scrap piece of paper. So then I can look at my colors before I put them on my artwork. I'm trying to figure out where I can put this. But you see how we have yellow, and then we have lighter yellow, and then we have streaks in it. So, I don't know where to put this where you can see it. <laughs> oh well. So, let's go in and figure out the yellows that we want. Okay, how light is this guy? That looks like a good yellow for the sun in the center. Now I'm using marker paper and the more you put on it, the darker it gets. Okay, so there's the sun, the basic sun. And then I want some lighter color. Oops, let me get the other side. Like more of a lemon yellow, something lighter. And then add to it. Okay, so this is more of a lemon color. It's lighter. So that's what I'm going to use to start out the sun. Now, and I am doing streaks based upon the way the sun shines. I'm going to pull out from my sun. Instead of going this way, the rays are going out. So I'm going to make my marks just like the rays of sun. And I have something behind here so I can go over the edge. So always have an extra piece of paper behind your artwork. Just go out the edge. Now what we're going to do is we're adding all this lemon yellow and then we're going to do, and it's okay if you go over this because remember this is going to be black. So we want to go over it. See, and that's, I don't know if you see it smearing. That's why we didn't want to fill it with too much black because then it will smear and we don't want the black on our paper. So this is super light and then what's going to happen is we're going to be able to go over it with a darker color like the one we used for the the sun is this the one yep so now we can go back over and create some darker streaks just like that good variety Remember, you can go over this because it's going to be all black. So, while we have this lemon yellow, I think it's a good yellow. Is that the one we use? Yeah. I think that's a good one to fill in to show the light within all of our... We have light in here. So, we want to go in and fill in... And try not to touch the black because it will smear. We're trying not to touch the black. And I guess what we could have done is just in squares and added black later. That probably would have been a better idea. And I'm going to use this, is this the, okay. And how, I'm, what I'm going to do with the pumpkins so they show up really good is I am going, I'm going to make stripes on them. 
I'm gonna make stripes with yellow, and then I'm gonna go back with orange. Now, you could do them a different color, but I want them to really show up on my picture. Okay. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is I'm trying to find maybe some orange colors some orange, maybe some light orange to kind of mix in. That's kind of a dark one, but I'm gonna keep going and see if I can find a light orange. Ooh, that's a bright orange. So this is a better orange. <laughs> Let's see what this one is. Just to give it some variety. See how I have orange in here and then I go into red. Okay, so maybe I will add a little bit of this. It's a lot darker than I thought I was going to use. So I am going to go see if I can find another color. This might be good over here. Remember, we can go over this because we're going to go back with black and add black to it. So you can go over your lines. Okay, I'm going to go see if I can find a different, I just wonder if this is a different one. Yeah, it's different, but... Nope. Okay. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is try to find like a peachy color. Um, maybe this is the peachy color I was looking for. And we're going to add different colors of orange. Different colors of orange, different colors of maybe even a brown. I was going to, the ground in here is going to be brown. This is kind of a orangey brown. And you're just going to layer the colors on top until you decide what you want until you just figure out how much you want on here. You know, I was gonna find a red and kind of put some red in it. Ooh, there's an orange. Maybe we'll do this, these guys orange, like that. And down here, you want it to be a little darker. The sun's up here, and we wanna make it a little darker down here. Um, the other thing is, you have that's green. I don't know that I'll, I guess you could put green in there. You could add green for the stems. I'm trying to figure out where we're going to add green somewhere else because it's always good to add green somewhere else. Maybe I put leaves in that are green. The green, of course, I guess if the, if the leaves are following off the tree, then they're probably not green, right? They're probably yellow. But I'm trying to figure out how I need to put green somewhere else. If I'm going to put green in your design, you need to always have green somewhere else. 
Or maybe we still have green leaves on our tree in a couple of places. Of course, we've already covered up some of this. <laughs> I don't know if we can do it now. Okay, so maybe that's all the green we add. Just so you have something in there. That's just a really good way to design something is to put, make sure you have a variety of colors. I don't know, what color is this? Okay, so I'm going to put some red, mix some red in. Wow, this is like really bright red. I didn't know I was going to do this bright. But just to give it a little extra colors. No. I guess once we add the black, it'll look different, right? Okay, I really like that orange. I don't feel like I put enough of this orange in here. So. So I want to put brown down here. Um, I haven't really finished this. I may go back in with yellow to fill this in. I don't know what yellows we have left. Yeah, let me come back in here and fill in with yellow. Another layer of yellow wouldn't hurt, right? I can't, I don't remember if I had a darker yellow. Let's see, was this a darker yellow? Yeah, here's more of a darker yellow. I'm going to do this darker yellow off the edge, all the way over here. I think this yellow could be down here with brown. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this. It's like a gold. It's not even almost a brown, but it's not quite brown. And then we can go in. Is this a darker? That's about the same color. So let's go in with a brown and start adding more brown down here. the ground. This is really dark. And then what I want to do is, where's that red? Did I have a different red? It seemed like I had a different red. 
Let's see, is this a good red? Let's test it out over here. Ooh, this is a good red. So I'm gonna go in and add like a little bit of a darker red. I'm filling in like all these little white spaces with this red. So then that way the red is the true color and it's not mixed with one of the other ones. I'm going around my, all these um, pumpkins, maybe around some of my leaves just to add a little more red to it. All right, that's a lot of red. So we have all these different colors in the background. So I think the next thing I wanna do before I do anything else is I wanna go back with my black marker and we wanna go in and let's finish what we were doing with our tree and add all the extra stuff to the tree. So we're gonna fill in our tree with the black. It's in shadow, so it's... And as you can see, my marker, I'm running out of ink. I'm going to have to get another one. So let me find another black. Fill in all the white spaces. And feel free to turn your page around if you need to. I do that a lot.
So what, what, after I have all the stuff that I already have ready, the roots and the tree limbs that I did before, we're going to go back in and we're going to enhance it and we're going to do more. We're going to add more curly cues. We're going to add more everything. All right, so now that I did that much of it, let's look at what I had before. And then, so I added more limbs, a whole bunch, a whole bunch of limbs that I did that, you know, see all the limbs that I added. So we're going to do the same thing. Let's see. Let's add one here. Remember, it's, it's, um, it's wider at the bottom, thinner at the top. And let's do one that goes out like that, and maybe another one like that, and maybe another one like this. And it's wider and then thinner. Now you get to choose how many you want to put in here. You can put in as many as you want or as little as you want. I like it where there's a whole bunch. <laughs> it reminds me of one of my trees in my backyard. It has so many different limbs going so many different ways. It's so hard to trim. It is so much like the tree in my backyard. All these curly Q. Everything's all matted in that tree and curled up. Let's see, where else do I want to put one? How would I put one like that? I don't know. Do we want any more? I don't know. I can't decide. They're so fun to draw. It's hard for me to say, no, I don't got to do any more. <laughs> This is so fun to draw. It's just like this curling around curly cue.
I think I almost want to have a couple of them going off the page. I'm like it's going that way too, right? All right. So now I'm going to go in just like this. I'm going to fill this in so everything's black except for all of the windows. We don't want to fill in the windows. So I know I almost I did something here with the. So I need to add something. Maybe this is a. Oh, you know how they sometimes have, what are they called, a wind? It shows the wind and everything. I wonder if I can figure out how to make one. They kind of look like that. And they have arrows on them. A wind vane. I don't know, I don't know what they're called. Okay, and then I'm going to go in here and fill in... I think I want like another window right there. Maybe, maybe that's all I want. I don't know. I want another window up there. All right, so once we get here, I look at this and everything. I did put a cat on the top of one of them, but I want to fill in the background and make sure I fill in all of the white spaces first. And I think what I want to do is take one of my yellows and just use yellow to fill in. Was this the yellow? It's a little darker. And I want to go in and make sure, oh, that's a lot darker. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the lemon yellow. And I want to go in and make sure that everything's filled in with this yellow. All the little dots, white dots are gone. I have some over here. And here, where else do we have white dots? There's lots of white dots down here at the bottom. And we want to make sure we fill everything in. Yeah, and some of it, I think, could be a little darker yellow. So I'm going to go back over it with the 
another coat of this, this, uh, remember this is an alcohol marker and it kind of blends a little. Like that. So now we need to just finish up. You get to choose how you want to finish everything up. I was looking for a lighter red. I don't, I thought I had one. I don't know. This isn't as light as I thought I was going to use, but just kind of blend. So then you have a lot of orange and then you have red and then maybe want a little bit of, maybe a little darker orange on this side. Let me go find my darker orange. Is this it? I think it's the darker orange. Yep. Just to kind of give it more of a blend from yellow to orange. And you remember, you're just going to go right through your house because your house is going to represent what's on the outside there. There. So just a little extra orange. I really like just the yellow in here. I really like the yellow. I put orange in there and I think the yellow just really looks good. Okay. And there we did it. There is our fall tree. And I ha oh, that's right. I was going to put, I want to put a cat over here. So in order to do a cat, you need to have two legs like that. And you need to have a body like that. Got to have a tail. And then you have to have a head and then two ears. And really... It would have been better if I'd used a smaller, almost looks like a dog, right? Because the ears need to be pointed. Ugh. All right, and there's a cat, and we have a wind vane. And I'm going back in with a really small marker, small tip, to do any extra details. Like I really want a point on this, an extra point on, and I should have drawn this guy with a small marker. All right, the cat, what that is. All right, I hope you enjoyed this crazy landscape. It's crazy fun landscape.